Aviva Lee reporting for Israel 24-6. Today is the 24th of November 2007. Hello and good evening. Welcome to the Saturday evening recap highlighting some of this week's action and activity of the Israel Defense Force. This week the Israel Defense Force carried out military action aimed against the infrastructure of terrorists in the Gaza Strip. The military's intention, as reported by their spokesperson, was, quote, in order to distance terrorist organizations, specifically Hamas, from the security fence, as well as to prevent rocket fire into the state of Israel, end quote. Monday of this week, the Israel Defense Force prevented three terrorists from infiltrating into Israel from the Gaza Strip. No injuries were incurred by Israel soldiers during an exchange of gunfire with that terrorist cell. However, two terrorists were hit. And Tuesday of this week, along the security fence, two different explosive devices were detected and detonated by the Israel Defense Force. There were no reports of injury to the responding personnel or to the security fence during either detonation procedure. During this week, there were numerous exchanges of gunfire between soldiers serving in the Israel Defense Forces and armed Arab gunmen operating in the Gaza Strip. In two different instances in the southern Gaza Strip, Israel Defense Forces identified armed gunmen approaching their respective units. In both instances, after engagement, the gunmen were fired upon and hit. In another instance, Israel Defense Forces identified a suspicious man approaching the Israel security fence under the cloak of darkness. The unit fired upon the suspicious Arab after he threw an object at the security fence. Subsequently, a hit was reported. Throughout this week, more than 20 Qassams and more than 40 mortar shells were fired into the state of Israel from the Gaza Strip. And in the Judea and Samaria regions, the following incidents were reported this week. While driving his vehicle, a citizen of the State of Israel was killed by Arab terrorists when those terrorists fired upon the Israeli's vehicle as it passed their vehicle traveling on the main road near the community of Karn Shalom. The area was immediately searched by members of the Israel Defense Force. It is reported by the military spokesperson that the Israel Defense Force will continue to search for the Arabs, terrorists responsible for this killing, and will ensure that those terrorists are brought to justice for this killing. And furthermore, in separate incidents this week, Arabs watching main roads in the region injured three Israeli civilians and two soldiers serving in the Israel Defense Force. In Area A and Area B, there are current warnings of possible terrorist attacks against citizens of the State of Israel. And it is still illegal for Israeli civilians to enter Area A. This concludes my Saturday evening recap of Israel's military action against terrorists and terrorism. Thank you. I am Aviva Lee from room 903 in Jerusalem, reporting for Israel 24-6. Shalom and good night.